Hello everybody, welcome back to Freddy Plays. As you can see today, we are playing something completely different, something I've not played before. Uh, this is Seven Days to Die. And when I say not played before, I just want to clarify, uh, not played on a recording before. I have absolutely played this before, and it's good fun. And I thought, hey, why the fuck not? Let's get amongst it. Let's, uh, let's make some videos for Seven Days to Die, because I really do quite enjoy playing this game. Now... I did say I have played it before, I didn't say I've played it well before. I quite often die a lot. So, what I've kind of decided to do is make a video um, I'm going to try to make this into a series, but here's how it's going to work. I'm going to try not to die ever. And that sounds stupid, I know. and. There's probably some of you guys sitting around going, oh, pfft, well, that's easy, anyone could do that. But, oh, how is that missing? Let's quickly grab this, keep half an eye on him. I think he went this way. Um, but I'm really quite average at this game. Like, I'm, I'm very prone to dying a lot. I make a lot of stupid decisions and make a lot of errors. But... What I'm going to try to do is make a whole series where we actually survive. Um, so yeah, if I die, I'll scrap the whole run. And that'll be it. That'll be the last episode. If it's going swimmingly and you guys are chuffed and you want me to start again, say the word and I can, I can do that too. Now we need a... Bone, yes, we got one, because we can turn that into a shiv, which means now I can skin animals, should I find any, uh, oh, I built the wrong thing, I thought it was a bit weird that it was saying I could only build three of those, shit, well that was a bit of a waste, oh well, gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, where's the wooden frame gone, I'm probably looking right at it, wood frame, uh, no, it just wants me to build a three. Now, back to the story, uh, which basically is that this will be either a really long series or a really short series. Now, we're playing on a half an hour uh, day-night cycle, so each episode will hopefully have a whole day's play plus a little bit of night. Um, what I might do is maybe even make this episode a little bit longer. I really don't give a fuck about that. Oops. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna waste these just to complete this stupid tutorial crap. Cool beans. Thanks for playing. Uh, and then I gotta find some... Actually, no, I don't need cloth anymore. The the sleeping beds, I think, used to be cloth exclusive. But I reckon now... Uh, I can do it with plant fibers. Alright, he's down. See? And that's where the bone shiv comes in handy, because now I'm... getting some meat. Get some fat, which I can turn into candles. This has got to be fun, huh? Skinning a pig? Gutting a pig? Bacon. Okay. Now that does leave me with another issue in that every zombie can smell that meat. So what I need to do is find a container of some description or build one because I'm going to draw a little bit of heat down on myself with that. Actually, let's not use the club. Let's shoot him in the face. Oh, that'll do. You didn't have anything interesting. I'm going to let that deer escape because they're quite tricky to pin down. So let's dump the meat and the food and stuff in there. And what I'll do is just quickly, just for the night, make a shelter right there. Now, I need to make a bed roll, and we'll make a shitload of wooden frames. We might as well just make this camp for now. 
and just kind of hang out here. Uh, oh, hello, sexy nurse. How you doing? I'm gonna shoot you in the face, all right? Oh, the tits, whatever. And ah, swing and a miss. There we go. Thank you. Come again. Okay. Let's gather up some of this garbage. Uh, scrap that. We'll scrap those. I didn't mean to make them anyway. Hang on to that. Now I found the trick in my previous games is just always to be building things because um, when I first started playing this it was like super simple. You just made a base and survived and blah blah blah. There was nothing really to it. And then I stopped playing it for a little while and I came back to it. And by the time I came back to it they'd added in all these other elements. All these like RPG sort of style. Um, you know the crafting leveled you up and the crafting... Um, you had levels of the different things you could craft, so the more you would have crafted certain items in a certain category, those items would be crafted better initially. You see at the bottom there it says miscellaneous crafting is now level 3. That's because I'm making just like a random building material. So let's scrap that shite. I don't really need bullet casings, I'll fuck them off. I'll put that down somewhere shortly, we'll bang the wood down there. What do I need? feathers I've got, so we'll build some arrows, and normally I play on the longest, uh, like a 40, I think 40 minute day-night cycle is the longest, so I'm gonna have to start looking to build my house soon, let's just gather up some odds and ends, so I can build some, uh, not build, sorry, so I can make some comfier clothes, now you see the first axe I had was level uh, like quality level 1 and you see this one down here is now quality level 13 so I'm by just building them you sort of get better at building them so it's good just to always have something going in the background because what that does is it affects the block damage we're doing so when I smack a tree how much damage the tree takes to like how much how many hits it can take before it falls down together so this has 600 health left and we're doing, what, like, 14 or something damage a throw there. And I'm getting 12, 13 per chop wood out of this beast. So let's build a couple more stone axes. Just to move that along. And it's also good to... It gives you something to do at night. Because at night time the zombies, they go mental. And it's a lot tougher to to get around in the dark, so quite often I'd, I just sort of hide at home, because I find that's a little easier on surviving. Uh, shit, we're running out of time here, so what we're going to do is just put that up there for a bit of light. Put these things on. i got to get rid of this. I'm going to build a little hidey hole just here, just somewhere where I can hang out tonight. Let's get that out of there and put it in the trash, which seems silly, I know, but <clears throat> but I want to get rid of this cooler so I can build my floor. So I'm going to go ahead and build that. Now this shelter is going to be super basic, like it really doesn't need to be anything. It's just going to hide me for the night, really. I'm not really going to go too full on, I'm not even going to put a roof on it. If it rains, we get a little bit wet, who cares. This is really just super, super basic. Pretty much just a wall, so that none of the zombies can see me. 
you gotta block these windows up too. Come on. And every time one of my little skills levels up, what it does is overall increases my total level. And then that gives me skill points which I can spend on other stuff. Um, right, so we're about done. Uh, it seems stupid, but that's enough so the zombies won't be able to see me. So I can pretty much just hide here for the rest of the evening. Uh, I don't think I will just yet, though. Let's... I should not... What do we got? It's... I got a couple more hours of daylight left. Alright, so I'm just going to round out the rest of this night by building a bunch of these axes. I can build maybe 12 more. But I mean, you can see the progression's pretty good there. Like, it's already 26, which is already twice as good as what I had. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but not only does it increase my damage, it increases the item's durability. Which obviously helps me to survive. So what I'm going to do is just lay it out real quick. Ow! Fucking cactus. Of all things, I stand on a cactus. So I'm going to grab a bunch of these. Man, I wish gardening was this easy in real life. Just go out and punch the weeds. And then, uh... I mean, look at the job we're doing. This is immaculate, right? We could open up our own, like, weed-punching franchise. Freddy's bloody mowing or something. So in case any of you guys are wondering what I'm doing here, it's it's pretty much just exactly what I said before. What we got to do is get all these little crafting materials so that at night time, when I can't really be out and about due to zombies wanting to eat my face, I can still accomplish something. I don't just have to sit and twiddle my thumbs. So we're going to grab all of this. I think I've got the sunset at 10 o'clock. I think I gave myself 18 hours of daylight. Okay, we're completely out of stamina. So I've still got a while. Alright, 48 is better than 26. And then literally we just throw these away. Because you can't scrap them and you don't need them. Uh, let's grab some more stone, I reckon. Got a shitload of wood and plant fibers, so I can make a bunch more axes. And then once I run out of stone, we'll make, um, I don't know, probably clothes, I reckon. Making plant fiber clothing is not really ideal, but I guess if it saves you, you know, if that one HP difference is the difference between life and death and you get away, then I guess that's enough. So what we're going to do is just gather up a bunch of stone and get on with this. Probably the um, the hardest thing to find in the early goings for the game is uh, a cook pot. I think that's what it's called. So just make one wooden frame. I'm going to scratch my nose here, just give me a second. make one frame. Um, yeah, because I've got that meat, which is helpful. Obviously, because we like meat. Meat good. Grab that back up. But, unfortunately, without a cook pot, you can't use a campfire. So it's a pain in the ass, really. So I'm just going to put that there, just so that quest goes away, and then it's going to want me to make a campfire. Uh, whatever, I'll do it just to get it on with. Get it on with? Just to move it along. And can't use it without a pot or a grill or any of those items. So that is pretty much just to get me one skill point. Uh, right, so let's just make a shitload of axes. Right. I don't really need that. And you can see down here I've got 
now I'm starting to get hungry and thirsty. And the little leaf with the cross in it means that because I'm well fed enough, I heal over time. If I was like starving hungry, I wouldn't heal over time. If I t were to take a, a hit. I stood on that fucking cactus before, it took about 3-4 HP off me, and that's just been slowly healing up. Now in about 10 seconds or so, you're going to hear like this, a bit more than 10 seconds anyway, you're going to hear like a wail and a howl or some shit, and that's the sign that the zombies are now in feral mode or whatever, and they're going to be a bit more out for blood and a little less moseying. Here we go. Oh, we didn't get a howl this time, we got some ominous music, but that's cool. Alright, well we're getting much better with these axes, so that's cool. I uh, don't have any feathers anyway, so I can't make any more arrows. We've got 17 more of these coming along. Alright guys, we're going to call it a day right there. Um, if you guys are enjoying the show, feel free to let me know. If you guys are keen for this series, absolutely let me know, because I'm happy to play this game until my character dies, and I'm just, like I said, I want to call one death, and then he's dead. So, we'll see how Freddy goes. He's, uh, he's doing okay so far, he's getting a bit hungry, but that's alright. If you guys are enjoying the footage so far, absolutely subscribe to my channel because I've got more videos coming up. We're going to wrap up Doom soon. We're going to wrap up Spooky soon. Uh, that's probably, fingers crossed, this is going to be a really big run. I want to get to like episode 20. I don't want to die. <laughs> um, if you guys are enjoying, let me know. Comment, guys. Comment. Talk to me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.